my goal is to knock the foot out. I expect the crowd to be very, very loud and I'm looking forward to going into uh, Super Samoan mode to taking him out. <laughs> How are you? Imagine, how are you, mate? Yeah, you too, brother. How are you? Yeah, mate, good to see you, bud. I met him when the UFC 160 was on Las Vegas. I was helping James Tahuna out, and Mark was obviously fighting Los Santos. And it's frightening seeing the power he has, you know, it's like far out. And he's just a legend of the sport. Everyone knows he is, and he's just so humble, but he's the ultimate warrior, man. So, yeah, it's, it's cool. There was three world champion boxers in that, in that gym. There was Billy Depp, there was um, the Raging Bull, um, Victor Chinian, and, and, and um, Danny Green, of course. Danny Green is like one of the best boxers in the world, one of Australia's best boxers, and, uh, and he's a really nice guy too. Like those guys in there, so we all are pretty cool. When we've got food in us. <laughs> There's no wake up for Mr. Hunt this time. So I'm really nearly down to wake, two kilos off. I'm drinking me a smoothie. I'm eating, so there's, so there's no sweating it out or anything. I'm really happy about that. I've worked really hard to get here. Sorry, Bigfoot, it's, you're going out, brother. It's fight week. For, for Holly right now, it's a lot about distraction, not constantly thinking about it because the fight's all consuming. So if you just think about it, it just tears you down. Yeah, all fighters can talk about that. So, you know, getting away and just not talking about the fight is very important um, in, in a fight camp to keep people loose, keep them from uh, um, overthinking things and burning out in essence. So, times like these is nice. Holly, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> but the highest level, it's, it's really the mental people that, that, that make it to the top. Um, and, and you've seen that with Rhonda. I think she's up to this point in time. She's pretty much uh, intimidated the girl she's fought. She's never ran to Holly home before. Holly uh, is mentally as tough as anybody in the world. That wasn't real UFO and aliens are real. You guys better believe it. Justin, like, he's like, you can see the UFO. I'm like, I missed it. I watch ancient aliens every night. And they wait till I leave town to show up in Los Angeles. I want to see this footage. I want to see, like, if there's a link, I'd like to see it. Thank you. Please pull it up right now. This is very this is important. This is happening. This is and happening. Just wait. But it completely changed. Like, and it was that like, little it thing. Yeah, and then it explodes and then, like, dissipates into gas. It's, like, genetically alternating everyone. What the fuck is that? And what did they said that the blue UFO in like LA was like the most bullshit thing. It was like some men in black like swamp gas reflecting off Venus bullshit. And you're kind of like aliens. They're called ancient astronauts because aliens are just astronauts from other places coming here. Think about that. Because if we went over there, we're just us astronauts. We're astronauts. Astronauts. <laughs> yeah. So, everybody, Ancient Aliens party at my house yes. after I'm done beating this chick up. Yes. Hot Wings, Ancient Aliens, <gasps> conspiracy theory party. Every single time that they say extraterrestrial, we're gonna, we're gonna take a drink. We're gonna do it with beer, not shots, because we were fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> they say it a lot. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good to see you. So good to see you, too. Nice. All of these girls. It's not that I'm bigger and stronger and so much physically more than them. It's how you think when you're in there. And they walk in thinking they got it all figured out. And they all have the answer. And when they get in there, they realize they had no clue what the question was in the first place. Actually, I'm feeling very good right now. I'm just going day by day and I try to enjoy every single day and just try to stay relaxed till the fight. I know it's a very important fight for me, but I don't think that the stress is going to make me any better for the fight. So I just, my team is like a family. They make me happy, they make me feel great. I train every day, I feel good, my weight is going down, so I have nothing to stress with. But I kind of, I think I'm so used to that, and it's a big motivation for me. So it just makes the fight even more uh, exciting. I've always been like that even as a child. I can't do something. I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to do everything to prove you wrong. Let's go to the lobby and we'll see. We're on the way to the open workout. 
Cannot wait. I can. I, I'm getting more and more excited. I'm very happy that I'm gonna fight on this card in Melbourne. Uh, you know, this market is amazing. You know, fans are amazing, and they they are coming from all of the world. It's gonna be a fucking war, man. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Passion and, and job right now, so I'm very happy. She's so ferocious, she's fierce, she's, she's violent, she's technical, she's beautiful to watch, she is everything. She's so cool. in boxing. I came to MMA for a reason. I'm really passionate about all of it. I love the wrestling. I love the ground. I love all of that. Clinch work. Everything is so different and I love it. So I'm here to be ready for any situation. Workouts are just massive. You're looking back, and people are just here, just watching and enjoying it. And you know what? I'm always gonna involve the fans. If they're gonna come out here just to watch us do an open workout, I want to be involved with them. Completely unsurreal. I'm just glad that I knew a little bit of things, so I didn't look like a complete idiot up there. <laughs> but it was unsurreal. She's a complete base and an athlete, top woman. The fans love her, and it's the best. And I'm hoping she can do this and go all the way and take the title. I'm here with the bantamweight champion of the world, Ronda Rousey. Ronda, welcome back to Australia. Not a bad welcome back committee here at Fed Square this morning. Uh, not at all. I've, n I've never seen an ever something like this for an open workout ever. I mean, I'm, I'm constantly uh, impressed by the Aussies and just really humbled by all the support that they've showed me. And, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to make them happy and move on Sunday. This is one of my best friends. Hello. Nice to meet you. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Michelle Payne is the first woman to ever win the Melbourne Cup. Thank you. She's she's a badass and she's got attitude and right after she won like her post win speech was like, Oh you guy jockeys can stuff it. Like this is what I was put on this 